back. This is the second video. Um, I'm going to start putting some commands in now. The first one starts with an S, system, and it should be a capital S initially as well. You have to write the language in the appropriate way or it won't be understood. So a capital S for system is important. You notice there's a red underline here as if there's an error. There is an error because I haven't finished writing the first line of code yet. Then there's a full stop or a dot, out. You might see things pop up round about here. Don't worry about it. It's trying to help me. It's trying to give me an idea of, is this the thing you're looking for? So I'm putting system dot out. I'm typing the whole thing in. Dot print ln. Not a one, it's an l. Ln. Then open curve brackets. And look, in this case, the one I'm using is automatically put some things in for me. Right, I'm going to ignore that and keep typing. I'm going to use a quote, which is above the number two. And I'll type in, my name is Matty. Oh, fill that properly would help. There we go. And then it's quotes, close bracket, semicolon. So I've typed the whole thing in myself there, although it's trying to autocomplete for me, which is handy, right? But it doesn't help you learn the language as you're learning it. So you're better to type it all in yourself initially instead of copying and pasting or using the prompts that pop up. So this is the first line of code. I'm going to save this now. There's a picture up here of some uh, floppy disks they're called. That basically means save. Click that and it's saved it now. So I've not lost the information I've created so far. I've got one program and one line of code that can be actually executed. This is what will happen. It will run this line of code. So let's run it and see what happens. There's a green button up here, and that basically means run. So hit run. Then you wait. You always have to wait in programming. And while I'm waiting, I'm looking for this output window down here. And this is where I'll see my basic program appearing. And this is what it basically does. It shows you what you've done so far. Um, again, you can use the Alt and the, the mouse wheel to scroll in to make it bigger to see. There you go, make it larger. It says, my name is Matty. Build successful. It took a second, apparently, to do that. What it's done here is, that text there, my name is Matty, is the same text as the stuff that's up here. That says, my name is Matty as well. So somehow, this line has sent information to the screen from here. Now, if what you want to look at first is this. My name is Matty is text. Right? There's no numbers there. It's just text. Now, I had to put in the rules of this programming language double quotes to start it and double quotes to end it. Right? Those quotes are important. If I take the quotes out, you'll see what happens. Right? I get a red error line. What's happening right now is the programming language, this one, this Java, doesn't know what this means. Right? Because there's no double quotes there, it doesn't know it's text. So I need to put double quotes in to represent the fact it's text. Now, let's look at the rest of it. I have this open curve bracket. Notice it's not one of these curly ones. It's a curved one and a closed curved one that matches up with it. Anything within these curved brackets is what I want to use. I want to use this information with this thing to the left. So this thing to the left is going to use this information. The end of this command has a semicolon, as most commands do end in a semicolon. And that basically means that one command is completed. On the left-hand side, it says system, then it says out, then it says print ln. System means computer system. So this first line is saying is I want to use something from the computer system. Then a dot to separate the next part. Out. Out means I want to send something out of this computer system. And the default out is the screen, so out would mean the screen. You can change it to different things. Then a dot, and then print ln means I want to print a line of information to the screen. So you've got, what is the system? Send something out to the screen. I want to print a line of information to the screen then. And this is what it uses. Anything within the curve brackets will be sent to the screen. And that's why it says that, my name is my. It's sent that to the screen. And this is the screen we're running from. I'll do another one. Don't copy and paste, type it to learn it. System dot out dot print ln brackets quotes I live in Dumfries. Draw brackets again, quotes again, quotes brackets, semicolons. It's all in there in the same sort of format. The only difference is the text. Let's save it, let's run it, and see what happens. And now it says, My name is Matty, I live in Dumfries. Now, obviously, your name might not be Matty. Perhaps your name is Susan. Now let's save this, run it again, and it says, my name is Susan. I live in Dumfries. Perhaps she doesn't live in Dumfries. 
Perhaps she lives in Carlisle. Again, save it. Always save it and then run it. And it now gives you the new information. My name is Susan. I live in Carlisle. Okay? So it basically sends any text it can find. Right? That's it. And you want to say will appear on a different line because that's one line and a second line. So line one, line two. Appears in that order in this place here called output. 